this whole tree came down. So we're completely trapped in here right now. There's a giant tree. <laughs> this is chaos. This is friggin' chaos. Hello everybody and welcome to our third hurricane this month. Yay! <laughs> this time we're on Cozumel and we're getting hit with a Cat 1 hurricane. Hopefully that's all it is. And we've, we're used to it at this point. So um, we've got some footage from the last two hurricanes. The first one was Gamma when we were living in Tulum. And then we got hit by Delta, which was supposed to hit us as a Cat 4. We left town, drove to Chatumal. It was a whole big drama. So why don't we roll some of that footage? Looking at the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center, Tropical Storm Gamma now sustained winds of 65 miles per hour with slightly higher wind gusts. The storm is moving to the northwest at just about 9 miles per hour as it makes its way towards the Yucatan Peninsula. We do have tropical storm watches and tropical storm warnings out surrounding the Yucatan Peninsula, including both Tulum and Cancun. What's going on? when the rain dance. It's a tropical storm. We were supposed to uh, go diving today, but this is what I'm I'd be so happy about this, but uh, we were supposed to actually do something fun today, so otherwise, I love rain. As Gamma hit landfall directly over Tulum, it became a category one hurricane. Well, the power's out, but what's interesting is that that means the water doesn't work, so we can't flush toilets, we can't wash our hands, we can't do dishes. The electricity doesn't work, so our, our stove is electric, not gas, so we can't cook anything, so we're eating chips for dinner. <laughs> and it's just kind of a big cluster. Uh, so, and honestly, the worst part is, is that like, we have no idea how long we're gonna go on like this. Yeah, at this point, if we don't get power back tomorrow, we're gonna have to start thinking about leaving. Monday and like, yeah, we might have to, go. we might have to go. So we got hit with a hurricane. It was a category one and it knocked out the power and water to our Airbnb. And we've been without both for a little over 24 hours now. So we had to come get a hotel room. Well, it's really annoying that we had to pack up and leave, but this place actually looks pretty nice. It's got air conditioning right now. And yeah. Running water, you know. Running water, Wi-Fi, <laughs> you know, power. So we're already upgraded from our last place a little bit. And so we're just going to spend the one night. Our Airbnb is supposed to be fixed by tomorrow. So let's hope that that's all it takes. But there's another <laughs> major storm heading our way on Friday. So we're kind of considering leaving <laughs> before that hits. In Delta right now, the storm is now a category four storm. The satellite loop is showing where it's swirling right now. It's going to make landfall near Cancun and it's going to continue to push north. Right now, it is a major hurricane. Category four has sustained winds at 140 miles per hour. It's 5.30 in the morning. We've survived one hurricane was a Cat 1, Hurricane Gamma. Uh, we've been keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Delta, which hit hurricane status yesterday. Uh, it was supposed to hit north of us up near Cancun. Overnight, it intensified and turned a little bit south. So now Tulum is on the southern edge of the path and it's going to make landfall at a Cat 4. So we're not gonna mess around with that. Uh, we're gonna head down to Chetumal, which is about three hours south of here, about 200 kilometers or so, put some distance between us and the storm. Uh, Cause I'm not about to go through a Cat 4 with glass, 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 glass in the bedroom. And a Cat 1 knocked out power, water, and the internet for almost three days basically. So I don't wanna be here for a Cat 4. up we've got a bunch of food that we have left over so we're just gonna bring it with us instead of throwing it away now we gotta load up load up bam champ load up okay so we're on the road we're heading basically three hours south 
into complete nothingness. <laughs> So we're heading to, if we haven't already said, we're heading to Chatumal, which is basically the very last town. It's on the border with Belize. And um, there's not supposed to be much going on there. You know, best case scenario, we're out $200. The storm never hit Tulum and we overreacted. But, you know, the whole point of being a digital nomad is that we are able to make these quick decisions and pack up everything and leave at any moment. So. You know, I think that we're doing the right thing, and like I said, if they don't get hit, they don't get hit, and we overreacted, but at least we aren't gonna sit without power and without water in the really hot apartment for another possibly three or four days, so. Yeah, and I'm not messing around with a Category 4. Yeah, Airbnb Category play. 4. See you in Chetumal. Okay, so we've made it to our Airbnb in Chetumal. It's not the nicest place we've ever stayed, but it'll do. <laughs> Not about to get hit by a hurricane. Yeah, so. so honestly, I mean, there's plenty of space. There's all we needed really is Wi Fi, electricity, electric water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, we don't need much. You know, it'll, it'll, it's just a couple of nights. Let's get down into where Zeta is located, which is sitting just a few hundred miles off the coast of Cozumel, where it's packing winds of 70 miles per hour, and it's traveling towards Cozumel at roughly 10 miles per hour as a strong tropical storm. As we go forward in time, National Hurricane Center is monitoring this system and anticipates it strengthening to a Category 1 hurricane. This has to go one notch higher than where it is right now, with at least winds of 74 miles per hour. So I did just check the weather report, and it is a Cat 1. Um, it's going to hit us about 7, 38 o'clock tonight. The uh, building manager right now is like boarding up the windows outside because it's about to get crazy. And we had to move in the outside furniture, this outside table in here, so it doesn't get ruined in the in the storm but yeah we're basically listening to them like boarding up all of the windows we've got tape on the windows here the other thing we learned from the first two hurricanes is that uh, when we lost power we lost water so i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower so we don't start off on the wrong foot so we'll start off clean that's how to how that's how to do this right So we showered up an hour or two ago. We're dry. It looks probably exactly the same as we did earlier. <laughs> I'm in a different shirt now. Um, and we've done all the dishes just in case we lose water. So that's another fun thing to do. We've taken the trash out and we got all of our electronics all charged up. That's it. It's getting to be a little bit late. It's about 4.30 and it's just kind of starting to pick up outside. So there's still no rain, but the wind is coming, so it should hit us pretty much overnight, and if we lose power, it won't be that big of a deal. It's not like it's the middle of the day. Yeah, you can hear it. I just took the trash out, and you can hear it's just kind of like getting a little windier, and you hear a little distant rumbling. So it's... it's... So, newest development. There's some kind of alarm happening. <laughs> I think it's the electric fence alarm. So, we gotta go outside. I think I have to get closer to him. Though. Did it. So we're gonna take this inside and I'll put it back tomorrow. What is happening? <laughs> this whole tree came down. So we're completely trapped in here right now. It was a giant tree. <laughs> this is chaos. This is freaking chaos. So big giant tree fell into the electric fence. Yeah, I mean, it's blocking the whole entrance and that's why the alarm keeps going off. So hopefully, hopefully I've disarmed it and we can get a good night's sleep and nobody breaks in tonight. The power is now out. I mean, we prepared for this. Like, yeah. I'd be shocked if the power didn't go out. Like, this is just what, this is what it is. Here we go. <laughs> 
It's uh, hopefully there's not an emergency because it's a big ass tree in the yeah. middle of the right in front of the gate to get out of here. So it's, about, it's a little concerning. About 8:20 p.m. I think I could move it. Like seriously, I could get it pulled far enough away to where we could get out. It's almost like should we go out there and try to drag it while the power is out? In case, what if somebody else had an emergency in this complex? I mean, I could. I could go pull it. At least out of the way enough to work. Just so somebody could open the gate. Oh, yes. So let's not touch the electric fence right now. <laughs> well, things did settle down for a little bit there, but now it seems like they're picking back up. Uh, the winds picked back up. It's raining pretty good. Uh, but it looks like the worst of it has actually kind of already hit. So at this point, I don't think that anything crazy is going to happen tonight. So I think we're just going to go ahead and head to bed. Call it a night and we'll see what everything looks like in the morning, but. So I just did a walk about this morning uh, after waking up and the damage actually isn't too bad here. Um, there's a lot of branches down, the pool's completely filled uh, up to the brim with water, but the big key piece is that huge part of the tree that fell down right into the alarm wires and that's why the alarm was going off last night. In the daytime, it looks like it's even larger. Last night, I think I uh, diminished the scope of how big that thing was, so. But no idea how the town's doing. Um, it's still raining. We've kind of gotten past the storm. It's gonna rain here for the next six or so hours, but uh, winds have died down almost completely. And then start cleaning up and getting back to it. My good, good lighting. Should I move? Ah, sexy. Now it's time for tequila. That's how we get through a hurricane, right? Yeah. Tequila time, we got our beer stocked full of, we got our beer stocked full of fridge. <laughs> we got our fridge stocked full of beer. Cheers. It's a little strong. And so I got to teach Hayden about the bucket. Although you got the very nice use it to flush the toilet side of things, not the not use to, it as the toilet As the toilet, yeah, <laughs> all right. Okay, wow, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs>